that's a fake friend and that's not really a good friend i got green beans this time y'all if you're a person that's like an opportunist like those were my worst friendships like, sometimes you could be a friend to someone and they're not a friend back to you in return don't put yourself in a position to be used and taken advantage of hey friends welcome back to our channel where i inspire your desire to be great to be great to be great thank you guys so much for tuning in watching another video if you are new to my channel welcome hey my name is christina nice to meet you if you are returning to my channel welcome back nice to see you again to my amazing supporters thank y'all so much for all of your amazing support i love y'all i appreciate appreciate y'all and thank y'all like when I say I appreciate y'all I genuinely mean that like I really mean it so anyways today is Thursday February 2nd it's currently 6 49 p.m and as y'all can tell we do another mukbang I'm hungry y'all last time I ate was like around like 10 something and it's almost seven o'clock so it's time for me to eat again i knew it was time for me to eat again because i was starting to like not be able to think straight but we eating so while we eating i'm gonna talk to y'all i told y'all like i got some good story time topics that i'm gonna talk to y'all about which is kind of out of my comfort zone so we gonna do it so in this episode of the mukbang with christina Moore. <laughs> okay now i'm just kidding but on this episode obviously as y'all could kind of tell by the title of this video i'm basically talking about like the worst friends that i ever had and the fakest friend that i've ever had okay so i'm gonna you know take my time and ease into that i'm gonna start off with like the good friends that i've had in uh middle school like high schoolish as we talk so and don't hesitate to comment below like if y'all can relate to anything that i'm talking about oh i forgot to tell y'all what i'm eating so i got rice and beans y'all know that's like my staple i got green beans this time y'all if y'all never tried to try making green beans y'all and butter and garlic with cilantro it's so 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 good that's how i make my green beans and i love it and then i got baked spaghetti y'all if y'all never tried baked spaghetti please try it it'd be busting like it'd be busting i've seen this recipe like several times on the internet and i finally decided to try it and it's so good it hits every single time it really do and it's so good <laughs> um yeah so that's what i'm eating oh and chicken fried chicken i'm not really in the mood for chicken but i still put it on there for the aesthetics okay anyways y'all um so we're gonna get into it i don't feel like i have like a single friend that i could say was like my worst worst friend because i feel like whatever you like so is what you read what you put out that's what you get back in um i genuinely never feel like i've ever been like a bad friend so being a bad friend has never really came back to me i can talk about like some struggles that i did feel like affected some of my friendships um that could have made some of my friendships like turn out to be bad but overall like i feel like when it comes to friendships if you want to like because i believe in like karma like i said however you want to call it what you sow what you reap karma what goes around comes around like that's what i believe in so i feel like if you want people to be a good friend to you you gotta be a good friend back to them and i feel like ever since i was in middle school like as far as I can remember, even high school, I mean, even elementary school, now that I'm thinking back, I've always been a good friend to people. But the only thing that I feel like has, like, weighed on my friendships at times, like, from time to time, is, like, people, like, 
pushing boundaries and using me like when the friendships start to turn into where like I'm only a friend to you but you're not a friend to me in return then I feel like the friendship is like unhealthy that's what can make somebody a worse friend or a fake friend because now they're no longer your friend genuinely because of who you are but it's based on what they could get from you but thinking back like mm, from the time I was in like elementary school like two of my best friends at the time they moved away so I'm kind of like mm, we kind of like grew apart after they moved away but we never ended it on bad terms as friends at all but them being like my two closest friends like they were just cool and I don't ever recall having a problem with them when I got to middle school I don't ever recall having a problem with friendships again like my friendships was always cool fun full of like laughter and stuff like that um now that I got to high school, I feel like that's when, like, my friendships kind of started becoming shaky. Um, yeah. But even then in high school, like I said, I was always, like, a good friend. Like, I always looked out for my friends. I always, like, was there for them. And I feel like, for the most part, my friends was there for me in return. I do remember the one friendship I wouldn't say it was like my worst friendship but like that friendship we wasn't the same after like I don't know like maybe I think some friendships sometimes like it's hard for me to come back from certain things sometimes in certain friendships like I feel like it's hard for me to be the same version of myself that I once was in a friendship sometimes like I'll I'm gonna explain furthermore but I don't know I remember like this one girl in high school she was like one of my closest friends y'all and I remember like and now I'm thinking back this was like a I would say it was it turned into like a traumatic experience because I didn't realize how much it affected me later. But we was the coolest of friends. And don't get it twisted. Like, as a friend, like, I would say one common trait in most of my friends is, like, they ride for me. And I think that's because I ride for them. When it comes to, like, being there for them, defending them, standing up for them. Like, I remember one of my friends even, like, literally get into an argument with somebody and almost fighting them for me so I would say she was a cool friend but in a certain area I really felt like that when I think back she was really like using me in that area and then when I started like setting like my boundary we fell out over something like really small really stupid but when i think back i feel like it's because when i started like drawing the line with this one specific thing i don't want to say it because i don't want somebody to like know or if they do watch my channel feel like it's dumb like i kind of want to conceal that because i love people so let me just do that that but i feel like there's this girl, she used to like, there's one particular thing she used to borrow from me all the time. Never had a problem. And then after a while, like, I feel like she started becoming entitled about it. And I kind of was like setting boundaries. And then one day something happened. And then she got so offended. And it was a small thing, like what it was one of my friends made a joke about something and then i laughed it was concerning her and then she never like talked to me for a while and then eventually she reached out to me and then i was like oh i thought you hated me 
or whatever. And then she was like, no, like I could never hate you, blah, blah, blah. And then ever since then, like our friendship just never been the same. So I feel like that's something that kind of became a repetitive pattern like in my life throughout friendships, which is kind of why I like learned to set boundaries from the beginning the best that I can. I still struggle with it sometimes, but I still do my best to set boundaries. So we fell out with that, but I wouldn't say like because of how it ended that made her a worse friend or my fakest friend. But I feel like any friendship that where like if your friend set boundaries on something and you switch up like how you treat them because of what like because you feel like you're no longer benefiting from them or you could no longer use them i don't feel like that's a quality of a good friend if that makes sense like i feel like a good friend will like in spite of what you could get from them you'll still do your best to be like a good friend to them no matter what and the thing is like sometimes i feel like female friendships with guy friendships is a little bit different it can be a little bit more challenging but the bottom line is like i feel like whether it's a male or a female like excuse me if you're using someone that's being a fake friend like if you use somebody and you don't give them nothing back in return or you give them the bare minimum in return when you take the best of the best from them i don't feel like that's you being like a good friend i kind of want to look in the camera because i feel like i'm not looking but i feel like that's not you being like a good friend you know what i'm trying to say it's just not and then if you're a person that's like an opportunist like you only see people based on what you can get from them that's being a fake friend to me like for me i feel like even if i can't get anything from you i could be friends with you and for a long time i feel like this is something i realized like when i got to college and that's when i kind of started shifting a little bit is sometimes you could be a friend to someone and they're not a friend back to you in return. I also consider that like a bad friendship. Not that everything has to be tit for tat, but my mindset that I've developed with time is like, it doesn't have to be equal giving in a friendship. Like I don't gotta give you a hundred dollars and you give me back a hundred dollars in return. But I feel like the sacrifice have to be equal. You get what I'm trying to say? If you make $50, right, and I make 100, let's do 10% of each. Like, let's sacrifice equally. I give you 10% of what I have, and you give me 10% of what you have. You get what I'm trying to say? That's what I mean by the equal, the giving don't have to be equal, but the sacrifice have to be equal. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, as a friend, like, I might not be able to like how can I say this like I might not be able to give you like okay maybe I'm not the best cook right but you always cook for me as a friend but if you always cook for me as a friend and I don't know how to cook for you in return the least I could do is when we go out to eat I could pay for food or something like that you get what I'm trying to say that's what I mean like the given don't have to be equal like you don't have to cook for me because I cook for you but the sacrifice have to be equal and I feel like for a long time like sacrifices in my friendships that I had some of them I'm not gonna say all of them like the sacrifice wasn't equal and I feel like when the sacrifice isn't equal in a friendship that's not a good friendship like that's an example of a worse friendship something that could turn into the worst friendship if you get what i'm trying to say so back to where i left off like after that experience i would say like other than that in high school i don't feel i had really a worse friend or the fakest friend besides like people that would maybe say something about me behind my back then I feel like that's also a bad friend. Like anything you wouldn't tell me, 
I don't want to say necessarily tell me in my face, but if you demean me and make me seem less than in my absence, that's a fake friend and that's not really a good friend. Like, if there's something about me that you wouldn't tell me to my face and you would comfortably tell someone else, like, behind my back to make me look bad, I feel like that's a bad friend. And I've never had that happen to me, thankfully, at least that I'm aware of. Like I said, because I don't do that to other people. Not saying I'm perfect, but I just don't feel like that's an area that I've struggled with. I just don't. Um, but fast forward from high school to like college now, I would say like some traits of, again, like a friend that's not a genuine friend is like a friend that always want you to go above and beyond for them. And when it's your turn for them to go above and beyond for you, they don't go above and beyond for you. And I've had a few experiences like that. Again, I wouldn't consider it my worst friendship, but I would say those are traits and like red flags in a sense that can make something turn into the worst friendship you've had or the fakest friendship that you've had. So if you're willing to go all out, like I feel like I've been there where I've gotten people gifts, I've spent money on people like concerning their birthdays and stuff like that. And they wouldn't do the same for me. You know what I'm trying to say? Like I can't count back where they've equally sacrificed for me. And that's why I said as I got older, I stopped wanting that. Like I don't want to be sacrificing a hundred percent or ten percent and you're only sacrificing one percent like no for me now when it comes to like friendships which i'm grateful for the friends that i have and stuff like that my biggest thing if i feel like you're a person that's like you're never willing to because i feel like everybody is capable of sacrificing equally you get what i'm trying to say Everybody's capable of it, but the question is, are you willing? I feel like if I notice that you're a person that's never willing to sacrifice equally, you know, you kind of have an opportunist vibe, you kind of go around and you're trying to always see what you can get from somebody and never really willing to give much back in return to them. I keep my distance from you. I love you and I think you're an amazing person, but I wouldn't do how I would do in the past. I wouldn't go all out and go out of my way to do things for you like I used to because I realized when it's my turn, you're not gonna do that. And not just my turn, when it's anybody's turn, you're not gonna do that. You get what I'm trying to say? There's some people, that's just a pattern that they have. When it's their turn, they want the red carpet to be rolled out. And there's nothing wrong with the red carpet being rolled out right it's just don't request for me to sacrifice a hundred percent and then you know deep down when it's gonna be my turn and it's your time to sacrifice you only gonna give me five percent if that you get what I'm trying to say so that I would say is like worst friendship um fakest friendship if that but I never I can't really say like I can't pinpoint one specific friendship where I could say this was my fakest friendship. Well, one situation that I could say I'm a little bit skeptical about where I feel like someone, again though, like it's, I can't say too much because not that I care if someone feel like I'm talking to them, but I know how this internet stuff works, so I'm never going to give somebody the benefit of the doubt to make a video to react to this, to think that I'm talking about them. So that's why I'm very cautious when it comes to talking about people, but I've had situations where I feel like someone got like really close to me because of the time of the life I was, the 
time of my life that I was in, right? Yeah, the time of my life I was in, and they wanted to be a part of it so bad. So I feel like they pretended to be like so like for me, so into me as a friend. And then when it was all said and done, <laughs> like I turned out, I mean, our friendship kind of went left because of it. You know what I'm trying to say? So I also feel like that's not a trait of a good friend, if I may say. Like if you know you're going to use somebody for opportunity and then blame them or feel a level of entitlement if it don't go how you want them to that's not that's not a good friend like i wouldn't consider that a good friend so that's my thoughts on that but the biggest thing i would encourage anybody in this video like if you feel like you're continuously a friend to people and they're not a friend to you in return fix that because that means you're in a lose-lose situation. And my mindset is you always want to be in a win-win situation. So create a boundary. Slowly kind of drift away from those people. But I don't know. I would say there's two like particular friendships I could think of that. Three that I could think of that didn't really go how I wish it did. But I'm okay with it. And I still like love those people i wouldn't say like i said it's hard for me to be like those were my worst friendships like i don't think i've had a worse friendships i've had friendships that disappointed me that probably didn't go the way i wanted it to go but overall <laughs> i guess if that's what would be considered my worst friendship you said it i did it <laughs> yeah but and like when it comes to friends, just be careful. Sometimes people might betray you. I don't think I've been betrayed in a friendship. Like I won't say I've been betrayed in a friendship because I've never sold betrayal in a friendship. Like I'm always like loyal when it comes to my friends, when it comes to people. So I've never experienced betrayal, but I feel like if I did experience that, that would be the definition of my worst friendship or my fakest friendship um yeah like i've never experienced betrayal in a friendship and i'm grateful for that but i have experienced like the part of a friendship that have disappointed me the most that made me say our friendship could have been better in this area but even any friendship is not perfect no friendship is perfect no relationship is perfect but the area that i wish like my friendships would have been better in the past now i'm good like my two closest friends in that area i'm good and i would say with the people that i do consider like my friends for the most part they're better but i will say the area that i wish that i would have been better at back then is like setting boundaries standing on my boundaries not making people feel entitled from the get-go and just kind of do like a test run to make sure like whoever i'm considering my friend or i'm befriending they're willing to sacrifice equally when it comes to me in a sense that even if like i do something for you for your birthday like let's say you take let's say you take a friend out for their birthday you might not be able to spend money and take them out for their birthday but you could invite them over and you could cook for them for their birthday and i'm not saying that has to be the case this year right in there or the same year that they did it you could do it another year you could do it the following year but that's just how i see it you know what i'm trying to say is i don't know don't put yourself in a position to be used and taken advantage of because in my friendships i realized that's what has affected them which is why i kind of pulled back and now in my friendships i'm not too nice anymore like i used to be i do my best to set boundaries and have healthy boundaries so that my friendships don't end up being shaken the way that they were shaken in the past so 
you best watching this video be a good friend to your friends i feel like what you put out will always come back to you if you're honest if you're sincere if you're supportive you will get honesty you will get support back in return if you're generous if you're kind if you're loyal you will get the same thing back in return and the other thing i realized like some friendships take a little bit longer to yield certain fruits and results you get what i'm trying to say and never like write anybody off that's another thing i've always been like like when it comes to all of my friends when it comes to even like exes like i never like just completely write anybody off and be like oh like they're dead to me or i'll never ever ever be friends with them again or i'll never ever ever talk to them again no like i personally believe that somebody could change somebody can grow and if you're true friends like they can make it up to you when it comes with time you get what i'm trying to say like they might not be in a position to support you the way that you would like for them to support you or the way that they would like to support you today but you don't know about tomorrow tomorrow things can change tomorrow things can get better tomorrow things can improve and then they can actually be in a position to support you the way that they have always wanted to so i just say like don't rule nobody out don't write nobody out some things are harder to come back from but i feel like only time will tell when it comes to certain things so like even in my heart like I don't have a friendship that I'm like oh we'll never ever be friends again like you can ask my husband you can ask my friends like I don't have nobody that I could be like oh I will never be friends with that person again like I don't have nobody that's like that because I just feel like people could change people can grow people can evolve and I my personal belief my personal philosophy all the time is like if you give someone a chance, they can make something up to you. They can make their right wrongs, whether it's a parent, whether it's a sibling, whether it's a friend. And I feel like your friends have the potential to right their wrongs. I feel like your friends have the potential to make things up to you. I know personally, like as a human being, it's hard to let go of some things and forget about something that they possibly have done to you, but give them a chance like to make it up to you. That's how I see it. Like you don't know. somebody. Could come back tomorrow and be like you know what i know i wasn't there for you in this this in this way let me be there for you in this this in this way now you get what i'm trying to say because people change life change circumstances change but i don't have like one particular friendship that i would be like this is the worst friend i've ever had because i don't feel like i've ever sown that to people like i've never been a worst friend to anybody not that i know of you get what i'm trying to say so i can't really say I have a worst friend or a fakest friend. I just have friendships that have been, I've been disappointed in certain areas, but I feel like I'm past the disappointment for the most part. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, comment below, like if you can relate and just remember you always will get back what you're putting out and it might not be from the same person that you're putting it out to but you may have been a bad friend to one person and that person might not be a bad friend back to you in return but life always comes full circle and you might need someone that end up being a bad person to you in return so just be a good friend to other people and you don't have to worry about them being a bad friend to you that's how i see it so i hope y'all enjoyed this video i love y'all thank y'all so much for watching Thank y'all for tuning in and be a good friend, y'all. Spread love, spread positivity. Cheers to having the best friends ever, the most amazing friends ever. Yeah, well, we're gonna wrap this video up. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Thank y'all for watching. Comment below like things you feel like are red flags of a worst friend or the fakest friend ever. Okay, but I love y'all so much. I think y'all are amazing and I appreciate y'all and just be a good friend and you will attract good friends back in return. So thank y'all for tuning in. I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. Y'all proud of me. I finished my food this time too. 
but i'm gonna see y'all in the next video where i inspire your desire to be great to be great to be great bye